Hey guys, I'm at Dick's Sporting Goods in Peel and Street, the All-American Sports Center, Latham. It's a new prototype thing they did in Atlanta and it proved successful. They combined both stores into one and they are doing really good. Um, I've been inside, it's really nice. Uh, they have a grand opening thing this weekend. And uh, $10 off any $25 or more purchase. I took advantage of that. Carhartt's here. Just sign up for their email and then you can win something on the slot machine, which it gives away a winner every time. They got their water tank here for Field and Stream with a guy showing how to fish on top. Remington Sport Rifles are here. They also have some meet and greets. They have Ron Guidry. They had uh, someone else here earlier. There's Team Dick's HQ. So Dick's stage. I assume that's where Ron's going to be. Go through here. We looks like we got a information center right over there on the field and stream side. And then Fly 92 is right over there. And they are setting up. They showed up about an hour ago. And I have a bracelet here to meet Ron Guidry. And I also got a baseball while I was inside. I'm gonna have him sign. It's gonna be for my dad though. Once the fly guy's set up, I'm gonna take a walk over there and see what they got. So I'm in line now for Ron Guidry inside the store. I can try and zoom in here with my loaded hand. You can see on the other half of the store over there, they kind of go with a wood outdoors theme. And then on the Dick's Sporting Goods side, they just do the traditional Dick's Sporting Goods brick. It's all really nice. You can check out right there in the center, actually. That's where the checkout line is, right in the center. It's mainly Field and Shroom style for the registers. You have the little orange light. I think you can see it there just to the right of the Nike logo. But either way, it's really cool. That baseball here. I can't take any pictures with him, as this thing here says, but I will be meeting him. So I got the autograph from Ron Guidry on the ball. There you go. And this will go to my dad. Now, these he was citing as well, and these were free to take. Um, so this one I'll hang on to, and then the ball will be going to my dad. And then I did meet up with uh, JQ and the rest of the street team of Fly 92. Allie Reed there was, uh, or Allie Reed was there is what I'm trying to say here. Um, she's the program director as well as the afternoon host. She used to do middays with Fly, um, and she used to be on The Cat, which I actually saw on 100.9 The Cat yesterday at a grand opening for Stewart's. I had no clue they were there, to be honest. I just saw them, and I'm like, whoa, great. Um, but, yeah, I got to meet Allie, got her in my contacts now for uh, the radio stuff. As you guys know, I do that. I think I wish I ever turn my radio on here. 80 degrees, too, so I should turn the AC on as well. And now we head home. Yeah, so I am going to show you what I end up getting at Field and Stream and Dick's Sporting Goods. Of course, I, uh, as you can see here, also stopped at Dunkin' Donuts, the stuff that's been thrown out, as well as uh, at Walmart. Uh, the real thing is I stopped at Walmart after I went to Field and Stream, but before I got the Guidry autograph. What they were doing was they were handing out the little wristbands. Um, I don't have mine anymore. Uh, basically, they cut them off after you meet the guy. So you cannot go back and try and get it again. But I like how they kept giving out wristbands all day. Like, I got mine at, like, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. There was uh, some people that were in line that got their stuff at, like... Uh, eight, nine o'clock in the morning. And then there's one guy who was right behind me who I was talking with the whole time. He got his literally right before he got in line, like two minutes before he got in line. Other than my food and drinks, it's all Walmart brand other than the Wise Riches and the um, uh, Lemon Mist there. Gotta save money somewhere, but you gotta get the good stuff. Um, they basically give you two 
um, they give you a bag based on, uh, I assume the thing is which one you have the most of, because there were people walking out with uh, white Dick Sporting Goods bags, but the Field and Stream ones, they're all orange, and they're actually, they're actually kind of nicer. So uh, Dick's may want to think about that. So, let's see, there's the receipt. Got a little hat there, Dick Sporting Goods Albany. Or Field and Stream Albany is what I should say. Uh, it's not too bad. It is a snapback. Let's see. Uh, let's see. That's the meet and greet rules. So that can be in the trash pile. Uh, let's see. There's the Ghidri autograph. Um, he was signing the little cards here, like I said, and he was putting these off to the sign. Or side, actually. Man, I'm tripping up on my words. So I have that, and that's mine. Of course, um, I got I bought the baseball there, and he signed it. See, so put his number there too, number forty nine. Basically, I just handed it to him, and he didn't even ask my name or anything, because uh, he was signing one of these or a few of these actually, and they were off the side. You could just grab one. Um, and then I walk up. He's like, oh, "Yeah, you can come on up." And I'm like, "Okay, um, this is actually going to be for my dad. It's a pleasure to meet you." Shook his hand, and he's like, "Okay." Just signed it, and there you go. Another handshake. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And then, of course, the colony police were there, as well as the Dick's Sporting Goods Field and Stream people. So, of course, I walked up to that guy right as I got my wristband cut, and I said, hey, thank you for everything you guys have been doing and everything you always do, because they, uh, you know, they, they've they been taking a lot lately, so it's good for them to hear that. Um, and then, of course, the uh, shirt. I got a shirt that says Field and Stream. 1871 it doesn't say Albany but it is Field and Stream if you notice it's the same type of eagle as American Eagle so it's like Americana look but I don't know if it's just I think it's flipped around I'll I'll know when I put the picture in next to this but um, also I've seen magnets with it looking just like American Eagle uh, of course I have to take this off it's just a size and then I have to wash that. Uh, ooh, ooh. Um, they're giving these out free at the information desk. So I got that when I um, asked the girl where the uh, thing was. Um, basically, there were two gentlemen that were there um, when I got the van this morning. Uh, Carhartt, when they were there, um, I did spin the wheel. And I, oh, that's my Dunkin' of Donuts. And there's that. I got. Um, I got this off of their prize wheel. Um, it's kind of like a slot machine. You just walk up, you hit the button, and it automatically, every time, it's a winner. It's just what you get. You, they don't, that's the thing. They don't know, you don't know. It's just whatever it comes up. And then, of course, they have like little stickers they gave you this. Um, they also give you this. And, of course, I got the big one. I don't know. Uh, one of these is going to be in the radio studio. I don't know which one I'm going to keep, though. I think this one's going to be going on the studio's wall stickers. And then the um, last, but most certainly not least, other than the wrapper for my baseball that is going to my dad, which, like I said, he will be, he will be happy and surprised. Um, they give you this as you walk out. Thank you for shopping at our new store. Uh, the scorecard information, we already have one. You just tell them the phone number if you don't have it on you, which I did because it's my dad's card. Um, and he won't be surprised because he knew I was there. I told him I was going um, when I was on the phone with my mom, but he doesn't know that he has this. Um, but down here on the bottom, they um, they give you coupons. Good until... Um, it's good for two weeks at only their Latham store, um, which is the one I was at. 10 off, 50 to 100. 25 off, 100 to 300. 100 off, 300 or more. Not too bad, but, you know, it's, some things are pretty pricey. I mean, they have safes, they have guns, they have ammo, they have fishing stuff.
Okay, so at this point, my video camera completely died on me, but what I was saying was they have a lot of big ticket items, in addition to like safes, guns, fishing equipment, they also have like basketball hoops, um, bikes for like mountain biking or street riding. There's literally a whole bunch of stuff that could easily go well over $300 equipment wise. Also, in addition to Remington and Carhartt being on scene, they also had their own fishing demonstration by one of the master fishers in the U.S. I wish I knew his name, but he basically works with Field and Stream, taking this trailer with his trained fish that you can see right in there, and he basically is showing how to cast and how the different lures work. Uh, this is the one that he was using that I saw. You can also see a little bit of his face off the right side of the picture, but you know, he did a really good job with the demonstration. Very nice guy as well. As I said, I don't remember his name. And basically, this trailer traveling all around the USA showing how to actually do this stuff. It's actually pretty cool, especially, you know, if you're driving down the highway and you see a big trailer trailer full of fish with like open glass windows if they're unclosable just driving right next to you. I think it'd even be better than that Dick's Field and Stream Ford Explorer that they had in their parking lot which uh, I don't think is there currently but I'll check next time I'm there. And also in later trips to the store later on I noticed a little um, setup in the back of the store in the field and stream section kind of like a nature-esque scene with like makeshift um, animals and a little mini running waterfall it's not like the big tank that they have at like bass pro shops that i saw in new hampshire but still pretty cool site no doubt about it very well to put together and it really brings the whole field and stream side of the store together especially right next to the fishing equipment i don't know why but it just looks really cool but anyway guys that is a look at the new dicks sporting goods and field and stream store in latham i hope y'all enjoyed and as always, stay tuned for more videos because there's plenty more where that came from. Till then, stay strong, aim high, and keep dreaming. I'll catch y'all later.